Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today, we're gonna finish off our mini bike powered by the Milwaukee Drill, and we're gonna test drive it. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we gotta do is mount the sprocket somehow onto the drill. Now, I was gonna use this right angle drive, but it's actually only one to one ratio. So it would be the same as just putting the sprocket directly onto the chuck. So I'm gonna scrap this idea. And what I'm gonna do is I had some of these old parts and I'm gonna modify this that I'm gonna put a hex actually on the bottom here so it goes into the sprocket. This already housed a one-way bearing. So I'm gonna take that, put that one-way bearing on there. And then I'm gonna take this sprocket and I'm gonna push out the bushing that's already in there. It's from a go-kart. And then I'm gonna mount that or press fit it onto the bearing. And then that can go into the chuck. And then once that's in the chuck, I can put the chain on and then line everything up. And then we're gonna make some brackets for it. And that's about it. Once I make those brackets and kinda I can see where I am, then we can find out if we need to put more support or less support to see how it kind of uh, torques once I get that first bracket on there. So let's work on that. Now we have the, the sprocket, so we'll make those parts and put it all together. So I need some reinforcement here. So I'm gonna weld a plate or a, some brace from here to here, kind of comes around just to put some more, just a little bit of movement there. So I'm gonna do that. So when I ran it with the drill, I kind of noticed that there was a lot of movement at the front, not only the bracket itself. So what I'm gonna do is I, I need some adjustability. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put some tie rod ends, uh, the one, one of them holding the actual bracket from bending and the front of the actual sprocket, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole and tap it. And then I'm gonna use this little bearing housing I had and it has these two M6 holes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bearing inside there. It's gonna be held into the front sprocket, that top sprocket. And then I'm gonna use these tie rod ends and that's gonna give me some adjustability to say straighten out the drill or put a little bit more tension on the front of the, on, on that sprocket or on the chain itself. So I'm gonna machine that up and then machine up some tie rod, um, tie rod uh, bars and we'll put that all together and we'll see how that um, if it still flexes like it did without the uh, tie rod ends. So now I'm gonna put these tie rods. One's gonna be somewhere here and the other one's gonna be on the axle and then there's gonna be one stiffening this bracket up also that's going to go just around here somewhere 
So now the tie rods are hooked up, drilled some holes in the, in the actual uh, rear arm. So it looks like it did help. It did help with the flex, but the drill itself seems to be moving a little bit. So we're gonna make a clamp that's gonna hold the actual handle of the Milwaukee drill. So we're gonna make that out of some billet aluminum. And then we got a kind of, uh, it's kind of like an afterthought, but we're gonna add a little bracket to the bottom of that, the, uh, the big bracket that's holding the, the front of the drill. So we'll add that on and then we can put on a little uh, throttle, a uh, little throttle mechanism so we can get that thing all working and, uh, and then we can take it for a ride. So let's get that welded up to stiffen up that drill and let's see if that works. So I made the clamp for the Milwaukee drill there for the handle. And now I have this piece cut out that I'm going to weld from the brackets to the clamp. So I put it back together. This bracket I made is working um, and these uh, tie rod ends is really, really stiffened it up and it was, it's a, now I'm able to put some tension on the chain, but I still can't ride it because I have a switch back here. So I need a throttle, throttle in the front. Here's my throttle cable. So I'm gonna try and adapt something on here so I can take this thing for a ride because I'm really anxious to, to try it out. Throttle, I'm so. thinking something that rides on this bolt here, kind of like this out of aluminum that will press the trigger and then I'll make a bracket to hold the, the actual cable. Well, let me try that. There's the pre piece and I put a slot and a hole here so I can pinch the actual cable and I put it in. Well, time to try it out. Throttle cable's on. Works good, I think. Right. So I put some grips on it. There's my, my throttle is on this side and you can see it, how it works pushes right on the throttle of the, tr the trigger of the drill. And that should be enough. I check the chain, it's not too bad, all the bolts just before I put the battery on. And we're gonna try it outside and take it for a spin. Well, here we go.
there you have it. The mini bike powered by the Milwaukee drill actually works. I was surprised. I still have a smile on my face riding this thing for a good 25, 30 minutes outside in the parking lot. It was great fun. I did put on the high output battery. Um, I noticed that I think the drill overheated a little bit as I was um, starting stopping all the time. So I think it needs to be cooled down because of all the stress of it starting all that torque at the beginning. But other than that, it uh, rides pretty good. It actually turns even when, with those big go-kart tires. Um, so next week, what I'm going to do is I have to cut off some of these uh, or shorten these, these bolts on here. And I, I'm going to clean up the, the actual frame and I'm going to put a little guard for the chain on there and I'll make a little front fender just to clean it up a little bit before I take it for a good ride. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching uh, Bonifab Custom today. I hope you enjoyed the show with the uh, mini bike powered by a Milwaukee drill. Thank you for all your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next week on the channel.